Hey guys, Galactic Marine 501 slash Jackson Wolf XD here. And fitting with my latest Tokusatsu craze, craze, I decided to buy the closest thing to a Tokusatsu item that I could in America. Or one of them. Which was the Claw Armor Megazord package. This comes with the Claw Zord and the Samurai Megazord from Power Ranger Samurai. Also known as Shinkeno and Daikayo. I believe it's Daikayo. I may be getting my mechas mixed up, but I'm pretty... But it's the Lobster Zord, so we're all happy. Um, let's start with the Samurai Megazord since it appeared first. Uh, let's start out with the worst of the bunch and go to the second best, in my opinion, because he's my, he's my favorite one of the five rangers. Uh, actually, let's go to the best. The worst is definitely the dragon. He misses, he loses two uh, separations. They actually molded them in. You can see there are little lines there through the plastic where he would have separated and become a much longer and much more dragon looking dragon. His mouth opens. Um, I'm pretty sure the Japanese toy did that too. Uh, the Japanese toy also had the water kanji written on there because it could form the symbol mode. None of these guys can Well, there's one that can, but that's kind of due to the transformation anyway, so whatever. Uh, the sword just plugs up his butt to make the... to make him... This is kind of an apology, really. This is like, sorry we couldn't engineer this and make it cheap. Uh, yeah, let's plug a sword up his butt to make you feel better about it. But anyway, yeah. That's the dragon. It's a dragon. I like dragons, so whatever. Um, all right. Saving him for a second to last because I like him. A monkey L lost a lot of pa of paint on their on her face. Other than that, is okay. She actually has one of her symbol painted. She can't form it. But this is the closest you're gonna get to actually getting the two sides together without breaking it. Yeah, it can't even move that way. Whatever. So, uh, actually, hang on. Can you? No, you can't. So the other disappointing thing is, uh, wow, that's actually cool. They actually have Shiba Clan logos molded into the inside to to make up for the fact that her arms are hollow. But yeah, she's okay. I I still can't help but remember the episode of Power Rangers Samurai where, um. They were in the Ultra Zord formation, and Emily just sort of said, Hey, I'm just going to jump off and hug this guy's face. Yeah, sorry. I'll be back in a minute. And then everybody's like, What are you What are you doing? And then that was also the one where she used the uh, Super Samurai mode thing. Yeah, it was kind of her character development episode, I guess, almost. Next is um, the Lion. Or Shishi. By the way, this is Saru, and this is, um... Crap. I don't know what his name is. I forget what dragon is in Japanese. I know this guy's Kame, and, or this guy is, um... God dang it. Kuma. Kuma. It's like... Kuma the Bear. And uh, this guy's Kame. Just in case you didn't notice, yeah, she kept her symbol mode. Mm, oh well. And the funny thing is they actually kind of had to do a little engineering for it. But at least they didn't piss people off by making it so that she had all the joints but her fins just couldn't fit together. That would have sucked. But this guy... Only real liony articulation he has is his mouth opens. By the way, everybody's mouth opens except uh, the turtle and the ape. So all the guys' mouths open. And this guy, obviously, but yeah, we're not talking about him yet. But anyway, Kuma is awesome. I, I love the Green Ranger is my favorite one of the Samurai Rangers. Mike, because I don't know, he's kind of. He's the rebellious one, and I've always liked that guy. The rebellious one. Anyway, yeah. Eh. 
pretty good. Here's the uh, Pink Rangers Origami mode. Why? Could have done it for all of them, but they had to cheapen them. Uh, whatever. But let's go to Turtle mode, where basically you just open it up, flip that out, flip out the uh, little fins, and now it's a turtle. Does the mouth open? Oh no, it's it's hollow, so it doesn't open. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. So let's start the transformation with the turtle, since she's currently in my hand. Oh, by the way, the thing that I mentioned about the engineering having to go into it, you see they hollowed out that part of that fin and that part of that fin so they could fold in on each other like so and still form a decently shaped emblem. So if you're a girl, you got your little cosplay toy here. You got your little cosplay thing. Sure, it's smaller than it's supposed to be, but when it travels overseas, it it obviously gets smaller. That's the logic of Japanese toys. But anyway, let's do, uh, I don't know, let's do Kuma next, or the bear. Fold, 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 fold. Oh, I think this guy's Shishi. I think that's a dragon. I don't know. The Shishi Origami Ruma is a name from Shinkenger. I know that for a fact. Oh, and, oh yeah, there's a button here. Press that button. No. To pop the helmet out of his gut. Dragons with helmets in their guts should probably get that checked out. But, on to the ape. I'm trying to do these in... No, I'm not trying to do these in the order from the show. I, I don't remember much about the show transformation from Samurai. Despite the fact that I saw an episode, I saw the two episodes where Antonio was introduced today. I wasn't paying much attention because I was playing with the Legos. I was bored. Really, I just had the TV on because I like white noise. Okay, so he's transformed. Bear. Hang on. Is that correct? That doesn't seem right to me. No bear. Yeah, it's right. I could have sworn the dragon was on that side, but okay. Oh no, the dra- Yeah. I was reviewing this and I could have sworn the dragon was on the other side last time. I'm like, eh? Then I realized, oh yeah, I was looking at the back of it for most of the review. So I'm showing you guys what's going on. Um, and then the helmet which is the only interesting extra bit that you get other than the sword. Yeah, that folds up. You just stick that on his head and it only is used in this mode. Yay! Uh, the sword. This sword is actually better than the Japanese one despite mine coming bent. Yeah. Bandai of America people can't make decent weapons because this could be a knife. I'm surprised they didn't do it in safety orange, frankly, because this could look like a knife. I could be like, ah, I've got a knife, and then people would be like, oh, no, he's got a weird-looking knife. But, yeah, it's got kanji and stuff and patterns. I think it's got kanji. Does it have kanji? No, that's not kanji. I'm just kidding. I think there may, there may be stylized kanji on there. I'm not totally sure. But, okay, it's a sword. It is a sword. That is all we care about. I put it into the turtle's hand when I use it because the turtle has an extra joint due to her transformation. It allows him to actually hold it across like this instead of just straight up and down like my like all of my other zords. So he can actually get a little extra out of him. However, Saru the monkey does not. Her hand is fixed because it doesn't need to turn for transformation purposes. Because, I mean, the turtle needs to do this, so... The hand obviously needs to turn. However, it didn't on the um, Legend series, which I was going to get because I like the fact of Mugen Bine style uh, Power Rangers Megazords. So, yeah. But let's go on to this guy, the most BA Zord ever. Other than the octopus, I like the octopus. 
Sadly, I don't have him yet. I may have to order him online. I don't know. We'll see. But let's transform him. I like to flip these out first because you do have to take this fan off of his butt, off of his lobster butt, and plug it onto his Megazord butt. A lot of butts here. It's almost like it's almost like Nazca. Nazca butt. Yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm not big enough on RRR to be able to make those jokes. I'm a member. Common writer birth. Surprised nobody took that name before me. But hey. Birth's a second rider, so I could see why. Stupid second rider status. I think it should have been I think it should have been Common Rider Birth. I think that should have been the show name. Okay. So we pop this off and he is in his I keep forgetting which form is which. There, I have it. He is in East mode here. He's got an East infection, and so he is mad. Ha! Ah, see what I did there? No? No? You're idiots. Meanies. Okay, but anyway. This is East mode. To, to weaponize him in East mode, you just pull these down. You can open them up. You can't spin discs in there like you could in Japan. But loss of gimmick equals less money. So, yeah. Now for West mode. Flip these up so you can get to the fan. Pop that off. I use the term fan loosely because he's not really going to be doing any fanning whatsoever. Fold the horns down. Fold the claws back up. And be disappointed. Because the fan is a piece of crap. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to switch the head. There. There's West. Uh, yeah, you can hold the fan straight out. You can hold it. See, I told you, piece of crap. It's because all it has to hold on is this tiny little peg. Yeah, you can barely get it into his hand. You can really only hold it straight out, and even then, you're good luck. This hand really doesn't even hold it. I actually have to put it in this hand. This hand gets a little better grip sometimes. I, I, I can't even get him to hold it now. See? Ah, uh, well, if you're a kid playing with it, I guess you would be going... Nya, 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 nya. So you can still get the playability out of it where you have him fanning off enemies like that making enemies fly away in a giant gust of wind uh... but it's still a kind of pathetic mode uh... the third mode is my favorite this is south the reason i like south so much is first of all because these horns are directly against the head so they look cool instead of being up here and looking sort of weird or being completely gone and just not looking complete. This is the way he should look, I think. And this is the head that has the most gold, so it fits Antonio's character well. Um, yeah. But basically, you rip the two halves of the lobster head. By the way, by the way, this guy's transformation reminds me of Scorpion from Mortal Kombat's uh, Fatality in Mortal Kombat 9. Split decision. Because they turn into swords, so it's even more ironic. <laughs> oh, yeah, that wasn't funny. But, you put the swords into his hands, now you can go straight gangsta on your butt. Now, I said this was my favorite mode. This is actually my second favorite mode. Uh, did I forget to do anything? Like, fold these up in any mode. No. I don't think they're up in any mode, are they? No, no. Good, 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 good. Okay, so yeah, this is my favorite mode. I say this is my favorite mode. This is my favorite mode that I can do. My favorite mode is this one. The reason I can't do this one is because I don't have the octopus yet, or the squid. I forget if it's an octopus or squid. It doesn't say it. Here. So, 
Sadly, I can't do the fourth combination with this guy. But I can. I have an extra combination to uh, to make up for it. Let's put his head back to this guy because this is the only place we're going to use it as this head. So this is the only special mode that we can use this head for. And rip him to shreds. Arms actually, actually the arms can stay. So rip his legs off. Rip his butt off. Rip his back half off. <laughs> rip his back off. Yeah. And you can see here, secret hidden head. Fold that out. That looks a lot more like the Samurai Megazord there. Fold these up. Uh, you get you lose a little show accuracy here because he doesn't actually don a new head. He puts on a helmet in the show, I believe. But oh well. Let's engage the Claw Megazord head. Let's do as much of the Claw Megazord as we can without harming the Samurai Megazord. Just to show you how much of it can be done. Actually, you know, oh no, it you can't make you can't make a slightly less claw y claw make. You can't make it without it because you lose the leg joints. The leg connections are now on his back, which kind of stinks. And those are also parts for um, the final, the combination of this guy. This, those may also work in with the uh, Ultra Zord combination. I'm going to eventually get the Ultra Zord. That's my goal. I like the Ultra Zord. Because I, I like Megazords, so, and I like the Auxiliaries. And the Bullzord, I really, I'm not as huge a fan of, but, you know, if I'm going to get everybody else, I'm going to get the Bullzord just to finish them off. Yeah, here we go. That's pretty darn cool. That's his top half. Let's show you the heads in comparison just so you can see them. I'll rip this guy's head off. The heads are actually more different than I thought. I'm eating those words now. But he does look more like a traditional Megazord than this than the other forms of this guy. So let's show you what you got to do with this guy. Take the sword out, put that off to the side. Uh, I fold her into her origami mode, just cause. And I fold the ape, I fold these down, just cause again. Cause that's closer to her origami mode than anything else and just fold them out one click and you got sort of an origami-esque mode. I actually keep this one. This one doesn't do it right because the joint's a little loose. But whatever. So then just fold this back and keep these things spinned, spun up this way. And I just fold her like this so there's a monkey sticking off the side. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. But their alternative to that was this. I can have butt arms. So I can have arms sticking off of his butt. Because they didn't do the symbol mode, so they couldn't do it accurately. It's the show where he has just the the other ones hanging off of his back. So, uh, that kind of stinks, but you could do this one accurately at least. I'm surprised they didn't actually do that in the transformation. Oh yeah, and fold the head in, or else you have a head sticking off his back. I don't think it'll actually inhibit the transformation any, but I'm going to... I'm going to do it accurate to how they tell you to. So, just so you can see that. But, um, then you rip Kuma off, and or the bear and the dragon off. You can tell I'm a little... I'm having a little trouble here with getting my name straight. Stick these on. I'm running really close to out of time. Oh my god. I hope I can get this review done. So I really don't want to refilm this. This has been 20 minutes already. Plus another half hour that I spent trying to re trying to film it before. Yeah, so. And then you take this guy, because you lock these parts from the claw sword into there. You take this guy and this guy, sock them together. Like so. And that's the Claw Armor Megazord. That is cool. I love this guy. I, I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, and I think you could still store the sword. Let's see. Can you? Can you? 
Is there stuff inhibiting it? Yes. Is there? Is it able to be done? No. Uh, can you have the tur Can you have the ape or the turtle hold it off to the side like a weird uh, three-armed monstrosity? Yes. Well, I'm thinking about it. Can you do this? Maybe. No. You can't use the ape as a sheep. Dang it. Okay. Well, I almost want to do this. Fold this back open. Give him duels. Give him a double sword here somehow. Like this. Give him the double sword over here. Maybe lock it in that way. Yeah, like this. So he has two swords over there, and then just sock the samurai sword in here. It doesn't fit, but uh, if you force it, get it in. So yeah, there. Eh. Oh, one other thing. Open the dragon. Got to open the dragon guy. Open. So he has a to store the helmet. Ah, there. Now fold the helmet down. Sock it in there. Okay, I gotta go. That was my mom. I'll see you guys. It's been Galactic Marine 501 slash Jackson Wolfexia.